Shigeo Kageyama was born into this world with inconceivable psychic powers. It's because of this that he feels like he's never worked for anything in his life. There isn't anything in his life that he feels he's earned. It's this lack of struggle he's had that anchors him in many other aspects of life as he grows up. He has a weak body, no confidence, and no charisma. He realizes that psychic powers alone don't make a man appealing. It's big muscles, charisma, confidence, the whole thing that makes you appealing. To Mob, something never earned is something never gained. His first step towards improving himself is joining the Body Improvement Club. Mob could have joined the Telepathy Club and excelled there, but he knew the Body Improvement Club would be more fulfilling in the long run. One of the first steps to improving yourself mentally is to improve yourself physically. The fact is, it's a lot harder to feel better about yourself when you look at yourself and feel disappointed. Looking at yourself every day, seeing tangible progress over months can do wonders for not only your health, but social anxiety, depression, and feeling of self-worth. No matter who you are, getting stronger and increasing muscle size is something you can improve. It's one of the only things that no one can do for you. You must take it upon yourself. Even those who are more genetically inclined can still improve. No matter who you are, with enough dedication, you're going to eventually see some results. Working out teaches you persistence and delayed gratification. This is to say that doing small things consistently will reap more results than doing big things spontaneously. You can work out three times a day for a week and nothing will happen. But if you work out three times a week for even one or two months, you'll start to see changes. It isn't short bursts of motivation, but years of dedication that truly reap results. Sculpting a body as magnificent as what's seen in the Body Improvement Club isn't something that genetics alone can achieve. Do you really believe these men were breastfed creatine out the womb? No. Even if they likely started off stronger and have an easier time building muscle than, say, Mob, what they did took years and years of hard work and dedication. Seeing something that you personally did become better over time is a major confidence boost. It's no coincidence that Mob chose this over other potential hobbies. In the second episode of Season 1, Mob is asked to join the Telepathy Club, but chooses the Body Improvement Club. Mob sees that the Body Improvement Club has earned what they have and wants that for himself. Because, again, something never earned is something never gained. Another area Mob lacks but strongly desires is Charisma. This isn't given as much attention as the whole body improvement aspect, but it's still important. This is partly why he admires Reagan so much. Not only is he a genuinely good person who wants the best for Mob, but he has a captivating aura able to woo anyone he encounters. Behind his conning, he really does impart some good life advice. His influence may not be as tangible, but it's just as palpable as the Body Improvement Club. What I love about Mob is how it inspires a just-do-it mindset. If you want something done, do it with your own two hands. It doesn't matter where you start, only where you finish. The world doesn't owe you anything, but it also isn't conspiring against you, nor is the system stacked against you. All you can change is your attitude and willingness to wake up every day, bust your ass, and get shit done. Go out there and get better today. 2020 isn't just a year, but it's vision. Perfect vision. This year, I want you to see your latent potential and work towards it. Go out and get better. If you don't already, start some new habits. Preferably one that keeps you creative and one that keeps you active. I've made videos on working out already, so if this isn't enough to motivate you or you just want more insight on the topic, here are some videos. You can also start martial arts, which has its own benefits I may cover in a future video. For a creative hobby, I suggest you find a hobby for something that you can actually create. We spend a lot of time just in general consuming, whether that be eating, playing video games, or even watching my YouTube videos. There's nothing wrong with this. We all have to eat and it's important to relax and enjoy yourself. The problem with a large majority of us is we spend too much time consuming and not enough time producing. So I suggest you pick up a hobby that makes you produce things, whether that be cooking, art, dance, etc. Producing things gives you tangible value, further improving your mental health. I did some research and here's what I found. Roy F. Baumeister studied what happens when people lose their belief in their capacity to choose. What he found was that when people stopped thinking they were in control of their lives, they act less responsibly and give in to their instincts more easily. His research shows that people who believe in fate as opposed to free will are more likely to cheat, 
act aggressively, and be less kind towards others. The belief in free will, or more accurately, the belief that you were in control of your life, has been associated with everything from better career performance to greater likelihood of overcoming addiction. Personal agency really does play a crucial role in your life. It's this philosophy of working hard and being a well-rounded person that separates Mob from his villains. His villains are all people who feel entitled to everything in this world. They use their psychic powers to establish themselves in the upper echelon of society, choosing to take the easy route in life. This isn't what life is about. As Reagan asserts, just because you have psychic powers doesn't make you any better than anyone else. Psychic powers are simply one aspect of your life. It's because of this aspect of their life that they took too far, they became deranged misfits and children who never learned to grow up. Mob is able to avoid this by becoming a well-rounded person. In fact, being physically strong may even help Mob with his psychic abilities. In Dimple's fight with Shibata, one of the Ultimate Five, he says, Muscles built using psychic powers don't stand a chance against muscles built by training hard every single day! This suggests that Mob may become an even more powerful esper once he attains greater physical heights. Mob doesn't fall victim to the mental, social, or ideological pitfalls of espers such as Mogami. This is because the friends and allies he made along the way are such a strong, positive influence. This is a whole theme I may talk about in greater detail in a future video. So get out there and work on yourself. Literally right now. No matter what video comes up, don't watch it. Even if it's one of my videos, go get better today. I'm rooting for you. And Happy New Year's.